tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years rehman music sheets with the turn of the millennium in about 8 years rehman had already composed music for more than 50 indian films over 10 crore copies of his soundtrack albums were already sold making him one of the world's top selling artists it was time to go global the process started with a film set in 1893 british india lagan got nominated for the oscar in the category of best foreign language film at the 74th academy awards in 2002 Lagan was the third Indian film to have reached this far at the Oscars. It was also the third film by director Ashutosh Gowarikar. While writing the script, he had a wish that came true. I was attracted to Rehman from his first film itself, which was Roja, and uh, I thought it it had a stunning soundtrack. Um there was a quality to the music which i had never heard before uh with regards to um the spiritual side of it and then came countless other albums and countless other movies which i kept on hearing and and it's only when i uh, worked on uh, the script of lagan and i wrote it i had this desire that one man who can do justice to uh, lagan was rehman and i was always hoping that i get a chance he says yes to the script uh because i was someone who had had not had a successful film before making lagan and so when i met him and i narrated the script to him he was immediately drawn to the script and he said yes and that was uh, uh really amazing for the film because you know he is someone who is a combination of um knowledge and application he has so much of information and knowledge about world music that he is able to draw from it and apply appropriately to any situation in a film and lagan was an unusual uh, combination again of you having rural india but also a, a british lifestyle and a raja maharaja lifestyle so the music needed to reflect all three you know keep it keep the rural sounds but also keep uh, the english uh, chamber music kind of an approach and only he could do it so so I was thrilled Amir was thrilled that no Rahman has consented to do do Lagan After 1947 Earth and Zubaida Rahman's third period film in Hindi was Lagan It won eight national awards and eight filmfare awards. Lagan's scintillating soundtrack continues to haunt. One wonders how Rahman crafted a perfect mix of grandeur and serenity to capture the soul of Lagan's landscape. Rahman likes to go through these orientation. Um, I, I think the self-orientation, uh, uh, you know, techniques that he does, in which he he just. tries to listen to as much as he can about the the different music that is expected of him exposed himself to uh, all sorts of the uh, rural sounds rural folk music what kind of folk uh, what is punjabi folk what is haryana folk what is up folk because somewhere even within lagan i was trying to create a pan indian look in terms of the houses the backdrops the the language is being spoken so the music also needed to have a pan indian um, though you might say north indian uh, sound to it once he oriented himself then it again it became you know for him uh, uh, easier to start bringing in uh, elements within his melody tracks <laughs> बचाएंगे 
Ori Chori was was one of the most important tracks for the film from the romance point of view because here you had two girls both loving the same guy and both coming from very different cultures and nations. So the, the clash is obviously going to be of Sare Gama or Do Re Mi Fa. And I remember stunned when he created the combination of both the two kinds of music together, especially in the antras. Because it's the, it's the antras where, uh, you know, both the girls are singing their verses for him. So to bring both those together was something that was, I, I had not, it was not imagined. Do you find such examples in earlier film music composers? Merger of two different styles of music? I think uh, uh, Mr. R.D. Berman did that often. Uh, there were quite a few tracks in the 70s that he... I, I think he also had this um, um, great improvisational brain that took a lot of folk and he infused it with modernity. He infused it with urban sounds. He made, it, made them very youthful. Uh, so I, I think that Mr. Barban is the only one who I can think of before Rahman, who, who actually, um, you know, Rahman himself also is a great fan of uh, Panchamda. If I talk about Ghanan Ghanan, which is a very unusual track, you don't expect... I mean, I used to always think that how am I going to expect this track from Rahman? It is a track that goes through very different emotions. It's, it's a combination of great music, it's a combination of uh, great music and great lyrics. Uh, how the villagers are expecting the rain and how by the end of the song, it, it does not. It's, it's you know, hopes shattered. The music was helping that emotion. It was setting the tone for the film. I mean, after Ganan Ganan, you know what these villagers are, what this village of Champanir is and what are the woes of these, of these villagers. So your heart really goes out to them. And whatever they're going through now, from now on, you feel you want them to win. You, know, you want them to be triumphant. Now all this, you may say it in words, and you might write it in a script, but to see it emerge in the, film of, in the form of a song is uh, something at that time was the first representation. We had not even shot it. But we were on set and we, you know, I had just come in from Chennai with the song and we played the song. And uh, that kind of brought a lot of tears. But there, there were tears of um, joy that here is a soundtrack, here is Rahman, who's going to put the film on the right track as far as uh, 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 the music is concerned. <laughs> Rahman's music adds layers to a film's narrative. Does it also take it away from the director's perspective? Uh, no, it doesn't deviate from what the original vision of the script is. Um, it enhances it. I have often felt that Rahman has, uh, um, you know, a great sense of drama. Um, he has a great sense of, not only drama, I would say even just storytelling. He understands it very well. And hence he's able to compose a background score, which aids and enhances the, the, uh, the highs and the lows of the story. 
and he does that extremely well the way to define his music would be that he has always created sounds and he's always created uh, uh music tracks which have a lot of energy which are uh, uh, you know for the youth they it's they are very youthful they are the kind of given impetus they give um, there's a surge in them for the audience to go out and do something so i think that energy which he has conveyed through his music is something that is uh, soul inspiring lagan won ar rehman his third national award for best music direction javed akhtar won the national award for best lyrics and udit narayan as best male playback singer it also won popular industry awards released by sony music 35 lakh copies of the soundtrack were sold within one year While Lagan became a landmark in the history of Indian cinema, Ashutosh Gowariker and Rehman moved on to another milestone. The story behind the music of Swades in our next episode. Stay with us. <laughs> Rehman Music Sheets will continue to track his incredible journey to superstardom. connecting you with his creative partners also engaging with musicians he inspired if you have reinterpreted or recreated rehman's music share your videos if selected you will get featured on rehman music sheets to submit your videos log on to our website o2-india.com